With a common love of fiddle and folk music, these young musicians meet here at TRU every week. From students as young as 5 all the way to 16, for Ingrid Johnston, the Caribou Chilcotin Youth Fiddle Society is all about sharing the love and knowledge of music. We're kind of like a one-room schoolhouse. A uh, big benefit to the younger kids because they get to hear what's going on above them and they're always listening and they learn by watching the older kids. The older kids, they get experience working with little kids, they get to be a leader, they get to be a mentor and they get to share what they've learned, they get to give back to younger kids the same way they were mentored when they were little. Here, unlike most fiddle groups you might expect, the Caribou Chilcotin youth fiddlers not only see the importance of showcasing other instruments, but they also rely on their ears rather than sheet music. I love it. I don't enjoy sheet music. I find I learn a lot faster with learning by ear and everything and it's just a really fun way to learn. Guitar players and the piano players, and they learn different chord structures, and sometimes the chord structures change throughout the song. If everybody in the room played the same thing, it would get boring quickly, but the magic happens when it all weaves and tangles, and you can be creative and try different things. And what we do as we start something from scratch is we learn it by ear uh, for the fiddle players, and we've decided to start everything we do by ear. They hear something and then they repeat it back and then they hear a little bit more and they repeat it back. And that's a good way of learning if you don't, if you want to learn it really deeply in your consciousness. That was kind of the old way was to pass on fiddle music from say a grandpa to a grandchild or something like that. So we don't actually use music for the, for the group besides the chord charts for the piano and guitar. It's easier for me than reading music because I don't like reading music. So when she just plays it, we repeat after she does it and then we can pick up a, like five songs by the end of an hour and a half. Five years ago, as a fiddle lover herself, Ingrid along with a group of parents started this fiddle club in order to provide the gift of music to their children as well as the community of Williams Lake. I think it's a gift that parents give their children any musical instrument, not just the fiddle. Um, and we just wanted our kids to be exposed to fantastic um, musicians. So instead of us having to go to Vancouver for something or Prince George, we thought let's bring them right to Williams Lake and other fiddle players, sometimes other musicians, we've had cellists, we've had guitar players, piano players, and bringing them to our community. They work with our children, our levels, and then we're ready to go to give back to the community. With exposure to mentors all around Canada, the Caribou Chilcotin youth fiddlers are continuously getting inspired while learning. We have kids that are 16, and we have kids that are 14, and 12, and 10, and 8, and, and so, you know, there's such a, a passing on of the mu music from the older kids to the younger. And to me, the emphasis is on community. We're, we're community building, and we're so, in this, in the fiddling world, we're not. We're, this is really about us being together in a room and playing. It was hard to learn at first, but then it got easier and easier. No, I didn't like it at the beginning because they're practicing all the time, but my friends, a lot of my friends, are in this fiddle group, and it's fun to play together. The youth fiddlers will be back to their regular practice sessions in September, but for those who are interested in fiddling, the annual fiddle camp at Gavin Lake is a great place to start. That camp's been going for a long, long time. So I've been there for, I don't know, 10, 12 years. And that's, to me, the laboratory where all this stuff gets learned and experienced. And, and yeah, that's, that's the motor that drives a lot of this stuff.